Thank you and good, good night. Welcome, warrior, to level three. The time has come to shift our eyes towards the kit on the horizon. Boom. EDRs. Grab some popcorn. <laughs> Grab some popcorn and prepare to build the first robot of level three. Stay. Hi, I'm Greta. <laughs> Later on, you'll be coding Sting to conquer an old friend. But let's get back to business. <laughs> now, all you'll need for Sting is the Clawbot kit from Vex, which, by the way, comes in either the dual control starter kit or the programming control starter kit. First off, say goodbye to that Vex IQ brain. Because this is the Vex EDR Cortex. These are the motors you'll be working with. They're the Vex 393 motors. And this is your 7.2 volt battery. Let me improv it real quick. Yeah. Step one, let's build the inner chassis pieces. Go ahead and pull out two chassis rails, two 393 motors, six bearing flats, four half inch 632 motor screws, eight pop rivets, both the top and the bottom piece. Starting with the left side, you're gonna hold your rail like this and put a bearing flat one hole in from the left. Secure on either side with a pop rivet where the bottom piece goes in through the back and the top piece pops into place like so. Then you're gonna do the same thing except one hole in from the right side. Next, take a third bearing flat and set it up two holes left of the right bearing flat. That's confusing. Then in the center and right holes of the bearing flat, you're gonna push two of the motor screws through and using the 564 Allen wrench, the smaller one, you're gonna screw them into two holes on the motor. You're gonna get nice and tight and you can use the shorter end of the Allen wrench to give yourself a little more torque. For the right inner chassis piece, you're gonna do the exact mirror image of the left so that the center bearing flat is two holes from the left bearing flat. And the motor screws will go in the left and center holes. And you're gonna confirm that your pieces look like this and boom! Okay, step two, we're gonna put our gears on. For this step, you're gonna need six 60 tooth gears, six three inch shafts, and 12 shaft collars. Starting with the left, I'm gonna slide a shaft into the small hole of the motor, slide a shaft collar on there, which may need to be loosened to slide on. Then you're gonna slide your gear on and then another shaft collar. Tighten the shaft collars by screwing in the little set screw. Then you're gonna mimic what you did on the left and right sides, except make sure only a little bit of that shaft is poking out the back. Mm. Then copy what you did for the right inner chassis piece. Then set them aside for a sec. Step three, we're gonna build those outer chassis pieces. For this step, you're gonna need two chassis rail pieces, six bearing flats, and 12 pop rivets. For both of your rails, you're gonna pop in bearing flats one hole in from the left and right, but with these, the bearing flat's gonna face in and the pop rivets are popping out from the outside, just like this. Then you're gonna put the final bearing flat smack in the middle and you're gonna secure it down. Step four, you're gonna secure the right side of your chassis to the back piece. For this step, you're gonna need one 15 hole C-channel, four Keps nuts, four quarter inch 832 screws, one outer chassis piece, and then the right inner chassis piece, this one. So using the quarter inch screws and the Keps nuts, you're gonna screw one end of the outer chassis piece into the end holes of the C-channel with your tiny, tiny wrench and 332 Allen wrench. You're gonna make sure that the lip is facing the front. You're gonna slide in your right inner chassis piece just like this, confirm it's the right piece and that the wires are coming down. Flip your robot over and it should look like this. Step five, secure the left side. For this step, you're gonna need four quarter inch 832 screws, four Keps nuts, one outer chassis piece, and your left inner chassis piece. You're gonna secure your left inner chassis piece to the fourth hole in from the other end of your C-channel. Then you're gonna slide on the outer piece and secure to the end holes. And if all goes well, your drivetrain should now look like this from the top view. Congratulations! 
Step six, we're gonna put on the front piece. Parts you'll need for this step are one 15 hole C channel, eight caps nuts, and eight quarter inch 832 screws. You're gonna secure on the front piece to the left and right sides with the eight screws and nuts. You're gonna get super tight. And then take this opportunity to re-tighten your shaft collars against the sides of the chassis so that there's no sliding. You want it braced against either side. Okay, step seven, it's time for the wheels. Okay, what you're gonna need for this is four plastic spacers, four four inch wheels, and four shaft collars. Slide a spacer onto each of your end shafts and then the wheels and then the shaft collars and tighten. By the way, if your wheels don't have a small hole for your shaft, that just means that you need to pop in the adapters from your kit. Should look like this. Pop one into each side of your wheel and you're ready to go. It's coming together. Okay, step eight, time to get that electrical all set. Step 8.1, time to secure the Cortex. Parts for this step, gonna be four Keps nuts, four half inch 832 screws, and one Vex EDR Cortex. So the Cortex is gonna go on the front of Sting and you're gonna secure it with four screws and nuts. Step 8.2, battery pack. You're gonna need four Keps nuts, four quarter inch 832 screws, two battery straps, and your 7.2 volt battery. You're gonna secure the battery straps to the back of Sting like this, three holes in from the left and right. Then secure your battery and cord like this. And you're gonna plug it in. Step 8.3, time to plug in the motors. You're gonna plug your left motor into port one on the Cortex and then your right into port 10. Make sure that the red wire is on the left and that your ground is on the right. I'm so excited for this robot. You sting! Oh, what a beautiful, healthy baby robot. Now it's time to code. Click the link in the description to the coding tutorial. And if it's not up yet, that's because Parker's making it. <laughs> I fell asleep beneath the flowers. I fell asleep beneath the flowers. For a couple of hours. For a couple of hours.